G'day everyone, B Asian Day here. We're gonna do the unboxing and first impression of this Dell C2422 HE monitor. Now this is part of the Dell's new collaboration series monitor, and this is a 24 inch monitor. Now I did announce this early January about this monitor here, this series monitor, because it is new. And traditionally this collaboration series monitor is really for really large monitors. Now I'm talking about 40 inch plus. Uh, so now they finally made a 24, a 27 and a 34 inch monitor, which I will be reviewing in each one of those sizes there. So I'll start off the 24 inch monitor first. Now, now, if you don't know what the collaboration series monitor it is pretty much like an ultra sharp monitor with a built-in dock and it has a webcam built into it as well and some speakers as well which is what the u series did not have uh, I've actually done a review of, which was just the 2421HE monitor. Uh, that was a very similar to that, but this one has a webcam and speakers and it has a Teams built in as well too. So we're gonna have a look at that. So let's, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. And of course I've got my good old trusty mic here to do and let's give it a nice slice awesome now we'll be like i said we'll be creating a review video of this after i spent some time on it and let's open this up as well now i will also be doing the 27 and the 34 inch as well too all right let's do this let's see what comes in the box so i've got some cables here so i'll just throw in all the cables we've got the usb c cable so let's see how long this one is just to bring it out. Oh, that is actually quite long. You're probably looking around about a meter and a half. It sounds about, I'll, I'll do a proper measure, but it's actually quite long. So it looks like about a meter and a half. So that's the USB-C. So this will be connecting from the monitor to your computer. So that's great to see. It's a nice long monitor. I like that. I really like that a lot too, actually. I usually see like small ones, but that's a nice long one. Now I've got a display port cable to display port, which is great. And again, that's about the 1.5 meters as well too. And probably it's about 1.8, that's usually the standard size. And I'm just throw all that away. And then I've got another USB free cable here. So that's just the, for the hub. All right, now let's have a look. And then we've got the power cable here, which I'll throw away because I've got another one ready to go. All right, and then we've got some documentation. This is how to assemble it. We don't need that, do we? No. All right, let's get out the base. All right, here we go. We've got the base here. So let's bring that base. Ooh, okay, this base is a more like a, I don't even know what shape that is. It's like a rectangle, so that's actually quite nice. It actually is quite nice. And then at the bottom here, uh, we've got a nice little screw down this side as well too, to actually able to quickly do that. So then let's have a look what's in here. Not this, we don't need that at all. Okay, what else have we got? We've got this good old thing here and it is right down there and we've got the base here and that is then right here so let's connect this up and we'll then try and screw that into the back here at the bottom that'd be fantastic and then we actually have a nice little hole down here as well too i've also lost this hole here so that's kind of nice now I'll got the monitor right here. So I'll just show it to you. That's pretty much all there is in the monitor uh, down here. So what I normally do, and I'll just show you how I do it, is I actually rip this part across, and then I'll just push that down. All right, so I'm just kind of trying to do this. Normally this is facing towards me. And I will actually take this, grab these two prongs down there, and line it up to this thing here. So I can definitely see straight away, before I get down here, I can definitely see, I'll just quickly show that to you, is it does have these four screw holes, so it is visa capability. So you can actually use monitor arms or as well as wall mounts as well too. So that's just to let you know. So I'll just prong it down here. Give it a nice little clip. There we go. And I'll just bring this whole entire thing up straight up like that there. And that is that, so that's pretty much just all empty boxes. Now, so I'm just gonna chuck this on the tape on the floor here. All right, so what do we got here? Let's bring this thing here. Let's throw some rubbish, let's get all this around here. And this is now another thing here, just to, oh, that's probably not the best, so I'll do it from the back end, eh? So, all right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, what a monitor. That looks sweet. Now this bottom part has a very nice sort of velvet sort of 
due to a speaker there. That's definitely a speaker for sure. That's really nice, I've got to say. So I'm just having a feel of this. Yeah, I know up here is the built-in webcam. As you can see, it's a nice slide. Uh, also, the microphone is built on the top here too. So that's really nice there. And of course, you can always hide it down there. So in terms of thickness of this monitor, it's actually not as thin as I would have liked the other U-series monitor, uh, the Ultra Sharps, but it's got a little bit of thickness to it. Now I can also see at the back end here, there is a power button here, and now there's a little vent hole here. Oh no, no, that's not the vent hole, that's actually a joystick at the bottom back of here as well too. So that's probably for the OSD. And we'll have a look on this side here. Uh, we don't have anything on that there on this side. And is there any USB ports on this side? No, there's no USB ports on down here. I'll just quickly chuck this down here. I'm gonna actually go have a quick look at the bottom. Yes, there is a few ports on the bottom here. So now I'm gonna have a look at the ports on the bottom here. We've got a uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and it does look like it's got power share as well. I've got a headphone jack as well, and then a USB type C port. Now I'm gonna have to check whether that's more than likely it's USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports there and now also where we're at it is have a look at the ports at the back on the bottom here so I've got the power port and I'll probably put a, short, a nice little shortcut for you so let me actually just bring this out so I can actually see this better anyway so I should have just did that bit earlier so what do we got we've got the HDMI port at the back and we also have a display port in and then we've got a display port out and then we've got another display port out. So basically it's to go to other monitors if you want. And then we've got the USB port, the USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port, two of those. And then the Ethernet port. Awesome. That looks pretty good. All right, let's pop that, this one back and let's boot this thing up, hey? So let me pop this down here. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna have one of these cable, I've got a cable prepared here for you. Now I'm just gonna pop this one down so it's nice to change. Now I'll just bring this across here. It's probably not the best idea for me. Uh, sorry, it's gonna be a little messy, but I've just got to chuck this into right into the back here. Now normally you would feed this through the back here, but I'm not gonna do it at the moment. I'm just gonna do this right now. So let's plug this in. I'll grab this cable here which is fantastic. Now, just to show you while I'm at it, I'm just going to bring this over here anyway. Now I've got an Ethernet cable, so this is what I'm going to talk about. I've got an Ethernet cable here, and that will plug directly at the back here, so we'll have Ethernet as well. There we go, we've got Ethernet. Sweet. And this is the USB-C cable. Now, the USB-C cable, I'm just going to connect that up first. And that is done through the bottom here, I have a feeling this is going to be down this port at the bottom here rather than the back here. So I will check if this will work or not. So I'm going to go run this by how I feel. So I haven't actually got any instruction there. Now I've got a computer right here, a laptop. Now hopefully this should actually give 65 watts power charge. I think you go all the way up to 85 watts uh, from what I might have read. But I will double check that on there. So let's connect this up. I'm going to connect it to this thing here. I'm going to run around to the front end of this camera here so we can have a look what's happening here. So let's turn this side on. Sorry, I was on the other side here. Where is that power button? Oh, I just felt it there. All right, let's start that up. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, aha, it's just telling you that the OSD is just down here. I'll put it to English. Go yes to that, that's all right. Now, I've got this computer here. Now I have set up Windows Hello, so let's just see if that will work as well too. Actually, what I might do is no HDMI cable, goes into standby mode, that is fine. Let's actually move that across to USB-C with the power. Okay, USB-C with power. Am I in the right way? No, I'm not. Which means I've got to connect it, not to the bottom, up to this cable at the bottom here. So just let me reconnect that up. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, there we go. I heard all that connect. I also heard the power. There we go. We've got now just coming through now. Now I've just also got a wireless keyboard and mouse connected to this C2422 HE monitor. I've just connected the dongle at the bottom here just to make things easier for me. Now I'm just going to check if it's able to do the Windows Hello and I'm just going to have a quick see if it's able to do that. It doesn't look like it's detecting me here. 
I'm just going to quickly switch off the webcam on that one there just to make sure. Nope, it doesn't look like so I might have to actually check that up with Dell if it is able to do support Windows Hello or not. So I'll just bring that up. But let's have a quick check to see how we're going. Oh, it's just gone through here. So, all right, let's just run this, continue running on through this in a way. So I can see straight away down here, I have Teams kind of set up on this very quickly. So if I just press that, now touching these buttons here, they are touch sensitive. So you don't actually need to really press really hard at all. They are touch sensitive down on the buttons here. So there is a Teams button. There's also a phone call button, I'm taking a guess. I can see there's a light behind there as well too. And then there's a volume up and down for the speakers here. And of course there's a mute microphone as well. Now the mute microphone does have a red one. If you pressed it on there, it will go red LED light behind it just to tell you it is mute the mic, which is actually really nice. I kind of like that, that it actually has some visual cues on the monitor itself. So that's really nice. And let's have a quick play with the speakers. Oh yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to hear something like that through the speaker system there. Some decent speakers, quite good clarity out of that. Pretty decent, I gotta say. So definitely nice and then very nice at all, so I'm just going to stop that. So definitely, I think I've only got about 50% level at the moment. So I'll do more testing on the speakers and I'll tell you how loud those speakers can go in the review video. Now, I was just also want to have a quick check if this will work on a Mac. So I'm just going to disconnect this from a Windows computer. This is a MacBook Air and this is the M1 chip version as well too. So I'm just going to plug that baby in. And I can definitely see it's actually able to detect it. And that's good. And we can definitely see the scene. Now I'm just gonna quickly check if this is going to be in desktop view. Sorry, I'm gonna carefully just try to do this with display. I'm doing an opposite way around what I normally would do. So where's my sound here? I uh, wish there was actually some display. So that, I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna try and move this across. And it is in extended mode there, which is kind of nice to see that you can actually see that is in extended mode. So that's nice to see. And I'm just going to quickly check while I'm at it is we'll just go back to the control panel and I just want to quickly check for networks. So networks down here. And I can definitely see the ethernet. Yep, so we've got ethernet plugged in, which is great here. So definitely we've got ethernet and we have this. Now, of course, we'll have to work on that there to see if Teams will work on a Mac. I haven't actually tried that out on my Mac there, but I'm sure they will work on a Mac anyway. So the buttons will seems to work on that. So if I press that, will I get anything? Not really there at the moment because I haven't got um, MS Teams installed onto this MacBook Air yet. Now let's have a while we're at it. I'm just going to bring the, the monitor here. We'll just have a quick look and I, of course, let's bring this one down. So you actually have your swivel. Oh, it's actually got quite a lot of swivel actually. So before I do anything to the Mac, I'll just move out of the Mac. So it actually got quite a lot of swivel here. And let's have a look at the tilt. Oh, it's got quite a bit of tilt on the upwards. Uh, as for downwards, there's only so much it can do. Now as for the you can actually go all the way down to the bottom. We can actually touch the bottom of a, a table, which is a surprise, and it can go all the way up here. So it's actually got quite a lot of movement on the stand here. So definitely quite good. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button by the bottom hand screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.